Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to offer a resolution honoring the life and service of Rodney P. Miller. Rodney Miller served many years with the Loganville Volunteer Fire Company, having served since 2001 as the fire chief. Rodney died on April 27th this year doing what he did faithfully for many years. Chief Miller responded to an accident on I-83 and while setting, setting up traffic control was struck by a hit and run driver. In the days that followed that incident, I was often asked by many how I was related to Rodney Miller, to which I responded that I was not, although both of our families had resided in the Springfield Township area of York County for generations. When I responded that way, I did so truthfully, but also knowing that Rodney was the type of person that we would all be pleased to call family, and that through his service to our community, he was an integral member of our community family. Mr. Speaker, Chief Miller has been honored in many ways since his death. News accounts of his funeral relay that over 100 pieces of emergency response apparatus participated in the funeral procession from the church to the cemetery. Recently, Chief Miller's family accepted the Firefighters Award from the American Red Cross at its Heroes of York and Adams County's award ceremony. Chief Miller's father noted, this is a fame we did not want. That simple statement made me realize why it is so important we all thank those who volunteer to serve us before it is too late to do so in person, but also that we thank their families for the sacrifice they make in allowing their loved ones to spend so much time in community service. Mr. Speaker, I believe our commitment to that cause would please Rodney Miller. <clears throat> Excuse me and affirm our appreciation to all who serve us and the families that allow them to support and support them in that service. Mr. Speaker, we are joined today in the back by Rodney's wife, Michelle, if you would please stand. We are also joined by his parents, Elaine and Paul, his brother, Gary, and his brother-in-law, Kevin Loring. Mr. S <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I ask my colleagues to join me in honoring Chief Miller by passing House Resolution 325. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.